The real-life man portrayed as a hero in the film Hotel Rwanda went on trial today in Kigali. Paul Rusesa Begina is credited with saving the lives of more than 1,200 people during the 1994 Rwandan genocide. He later left the country and became a vocal critic of President Paul Kagame. He was mysteriously brought back to Rwanda and arrested on terrorism charges six months ago. Richard Quest was just in Rwanda. He joins us live now from New York. So, Richard, you actually talked uh, to President Paul Kagame just last week. He said that there was no foul play in the way that Paul Rutesa Bagina was brought back to the country. Obviously, a lot of international human rights organizations beg to differ there. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the man thought he was getting on a plane going to one place and he was then uh, shackled and tied up and taken to Rwanda, uh, if the story is as it's believed to be, uh, where he was then wanted for terrorist activity that the president says uh, he, um, was, being, uh, was involved in. The problem for President Kagame uh, is that this incident is tarnishing his reputation because until now he had been seen very much as by the international community as the man who'd held Rwanda together, who'd brought Rwanda forward after the 1994 genocide. Now with this trial underway, in the manner under which it's been taken, uh, that could all be very looked upon very differently. I spoke to President Kagame in Kigali last week. This is what he said. It was very proper and legal. In fact, he more or less brought himself you see, whether he was acting on wrong signals, but he, he, he went by those signals to continue the journey of doing the wrong things he had been doing in the past. So, I, he I got don't on see... a plane intending to go to one destination. Do you know bound, which one that is? Was bound and gagged and brought to this destination. Do you know which destination? Tell me. Yeah, it, he, was going, he was going to Burundi. Exactly. He wasn't going to Dubai, as some of the people have said. Dubai was just a transit, like Chicago was a transit. He came all the way from the United States. But he didn't expect to end up in Kigali. Well, I, I don't mind what he expected. If he expected to go to Burundi to connect with the people he has, been, he has been working with or leading into the stabilization of our country. What, what sympathy, sympathies do I owe him or anybody? Did the government of Rwanda have a hand in bringing him to Kigali? Did you, was the government responsible for rendi renditioning him to Kigali? No, 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 bringing him or guiding him to come to Kigali and rendition, or means like that that seem to be illegal, are totally different things. Absolutely. Now, if somebody, if for him he was working with somebody in Burundi, right, in the same plot of destabilizing our country, and the same person, for example, decided to drive him to Kigali, the person he was working with and he had trusted. And the government was working with that person he trusted. How does government become culpable for that operation? It's the rainy season in Rwanda. We could hear the storm approaching above us. And when the clouds finally broke, it was time to pause, to reflect. And after nearly an hour of waiting, we resumed the conversation. The international community fears that if I have permission to speak bluntly, that, you know, Kagami wants him convicted, rubber stamp court, lock him up and throw away the key. What guarantees can you give today of a fair trial? All those concerns uh, can't be further from the truth. Uh, one, Rusia Savajina, a citizen of this country, was done something terrible or wrong, committed a crime. I have heard that he has he holds other citizenships of other countries. That's okay. I have no quarrel with that. He certainly did something wrong. And by the way, he is co accused with a number of other people. So he's not alone in this uh, case that he's been being tried for.
So that, that, that is also a character that must be put forward. So taking him out of that and treating him differently and special, that's, that's not going to work. So the case is going to court, all these people being tried. And it is important that there is a fair trial. Paul Kagame has been president of Rwanda since the year 2000. The country's constitution has already been amended to allow him to serve more terms. Human Rights Watch claims that opposition figures are persistently targeted. If Kagame wins the next election in 2024, he could hold on to power for more than a decade longer. There's no Western leader that has been in office as long as you have. Do I care about that? Because the Western leader is a Western leader. Because electorates normally <laughs> throw <not> electorates <laughs> normally throw people out. The nature of elections and oh, democracies yeah, yeah. is that people get tired of it and they move that, to another person. That is if you are telling me, you know, that everyone has to conform to what the West tells us to do. I'm not one of those people. The Western world is a world on its own. Okay. It has many good things that they do. It has many bad things they do. There's no democratically elected leader in a generally accepted democracy that has been in office as long the, as you. Democracy is not uh, defined by the West. No. If it does, then what happens of the contradictions that happen in the West? Where we find the countries in the West, they elect their leaders, and then they turn around and start complaining about the same leaders they have elected. So you are telling me democracy, therefore, has imperfections, whether it is in the West or anywhere else. So, but I cannot live by or leave the imperfections of the West.